so here we are in the uh, we're in the Google Classic console. We're looking at the um, Google Analytics sample data set. And the first thing we want to do before we actually write any queries is just take a look at the schema. So let's blow this up a little bit. Um, the first thing to note is you can see there's a toggle here and there's sessions data for each day. This is the old style of uh, BigQuery partitioning where they partitioned each day of data into a separate um, separate table basically with the date at the end. This is, uh, you know, I don't really use this style of partitioning very much. Um, so I don't wanna teach too much of how to deal with date partition tables like this um, with the, the partitioning in the, in the table name. Um, so we'll just use one day of data. We'll use August 1st of 2017 just to, for demonstration purposes of uh, how to write queries like this. So first thing to look at is the data that we have in the table and the, the kind of field types that we have. So we're gonna wanna do a lot of work with the kind of holy trinity of uh, marketing metrics, like basically hits or session or visits, really sessions, um, transactions and transaction revenue. Those are kind of the three that we really care about, um, you know, for, for most, marketing analyses. You know, we can look at bounces and bounce rate and time on site and stuff like that. Um, but ultimately, you know, sessions, transactions, revenue are going to be the three that we care about most. Um, there's also some important um, kind of attribution data in here. So we can look at, you know, source medium campaign. Um, we also, I believe this has channel grouping as a table. So down at the bottom, so we'll look at you know classic GA default channel groupings. Um, and then there's a lot of other, you can kind of browse through this menu. There's a lot of other fields in here, um, you know, like AdSense and AdWords data, product level data. But the important thing to know is, you know, the type of data it is, whether it's a string, integer, whatever. Um, we'll cover what these records mean in a later lesson. You don't need to worry about that now. Um, but now that we've done that, let's actually write our first query and, and get into the um, query language that we're gonna use here. So every query needs a select and a from. And after in between, after select, you'll list the different columns that you wanna pull from the table. Um, and we'll get into more details with that later. But one thing you can do for a column is if you want to rename it, so we say we want to take channel grouping and just call it channel, you just place as after um, and rename it to whatever you want to name it. So here we're just selecting tables as they're listed in, I mean columns as they're listed in the schema. Select one, two, three, four, five columns from, and then we list the table name that we want to query from. Now BigQuery table names have three elements to them. They have the project name. So this is BigQuery public data. This will be the, high, the highest level. So this is a project ID. Um, then we have the data set. So that's Google Analytics sample is the data set. And then within each data set, if you, you know, open the, the arrow here, you can see there's a number of tables within each data set. So this Google Analytics sample just has one table. Again, it's GA sessions and then the date, because it's partitioned by date. Um, so this just means there's 366 dates um, within the GA, GA sessions table. And we're just gonna use this one, um, 2017-0801, August 1st. Um, so those are the, the two elements that you really need to have. Select and list some columns, comma separated. Um, you could have them on one line, but I prefer to split them out each on one line for readability from the table and then just good form to have a limit, um, a limit parameter there. You don't technically need it for BigQuery, but we can hit um, Command Enter. Uh, we'll run that query, and you can see BigQuery will give you any errors here. It will tell you how long the query took and how much data was processed. Because remember, for BigQuery, you're billed by how much data you process. So that 77k, you know, I think. I think that's like the minimum, uh, the minimum amount that you could be, could be charged for, which is basically maybe like 
you know, a hundredth of a penny or something like that. Um, so if we look at our data here, then we've queried out, we've basically done nothing except eliminate a bunch of columns. So we'd say poll date channel visits transactions, transaction revenue, uh, rename channel grouping to channel, but don't perform any other math, right? This is the most basic select from query that we could possibly write. We're not doing any math. We're not doing any filtering. Um, we'll get into that in the next queries, but now you should be up and running with just the basic functions of the, you know, the big query UI here and how to write, write a basic query. So let's move on to the next one.